This is the Pi Pico, a dual-core 32-bit ARM Cortex-based microcontroller typically programmed in MicroPython. It's also the new Pico Mite, an MM-Basic-based microcontroller with all the power and connectivity of a MicroMite Plus, but at less than $6. Whether it behaves as a Pico Mite or a Pi Pico, depends on which UF2 file it's flashed with. To flash the Pi Pico, all you need to do is hold down the bootloader button while plugging it into your computer. The Pico then presents to your computer as a flash drive. If you copy the MicroPython UF2 file to the Pico, it can then be programmed in an environment like Thony. Here the Pico is running a Python script to calculate the first thousand primes. As an alternative to MicroPython, you can copy the MMBasic UF2 file, turning your Pico into a Pico Mite. You'll know that you've successfully flashed it when the LED blinks to indicate that it's now running MMBASIC. With MMBASIC running, you can talk to your Pico Mite using a terminal emulator. A good choice on a Linux system for a terminal emulator is PuTTY. By way of comparison with MicroPython, here's a basic program to calculate the first thousand primes. To download the MMBASIC UF2 file, go to Jeff Graham's website and scroll down to Downloads. In addition to the MMBASIC UF2 file, you'll also find the excellent PicoMite MMBASIC manual. As well as being a comprehensive reference source, the manual provides a very helpful introduction, including helpful advice on what to do if your Pico's flash becomes corrupted. The manual also includes worked examples of how to attach peripherals, including a touchscreen LCD and SD card interface. Here's the Pico Mite wired up in the example with the 2.4 inch display, uh, including support for a SD card, uh, which is built into the display. So I'll we'll pop the SD card in and then I can Type in the files command and we see a file and I can also load an image. Load image. Which then appears and this ability to use SD cards and a and display image files is very similar to um, the functions of the uh, Micromite Plus. Um, load. In addition to MicroPython and MMBASIC, the Pi Pico is also supported under the Arduino IDE. For comparison with the other two environments, I've written a program in Arduino's C-like language to calculate the first thousand primes. In contrast to the other two environments, 
the Arduino IDE creates a new UF2 file for each program compiled. So at less than $6, the Pi Pico may be the only microcontroller hardware that you need, whether you're programming in MM Basic, um, Python, or um, as an Arduino using its C-like language.